All right, now that we've got all the views drawn, we've got our front view, top view, with dimensions, with section views, and with an isometric, we're gonna take it a little step further and we're gonna do a section view of the isometric. Now this is kind of tricky because we do have, it's an isometric, but the tricky thing about it is we've got so many counter bores and a counter sink. So I'm gonna zoom into this view. We need to make sure that our isometric layer is set current. We also need to make sure that we're set to an isometric snap with the ortho turned on. Now the isometric snap that I would recommend using is, um, you know how you can toggle F5 between all of these. I like the one that's perfectly vertical and then at um, 150 degrees, that's gonna come in handy for me. Um, all right, let's just start. We're gonna draw a line cutting right through this thing. So from the center here, all the way down to the center here. And notice when you're, when you're doing this, you have two options, kind of two surfaces. Um, I'm gonna go from the top surface. I don't know that I got that on this one. The top center mark here to the top center mark here. And now what I'm gonna do, so that gets me to this top surface up here, and I'm gonna use the extend command. Remember, extend and trim are kind of buried inside of each other. We're gonna go back and forth using both of those. So I'm gonna just keep extending until I get all the way to the edge. I'll do the same, come over here, keep extending till you get all the way to the edge. And there's my cutting plane. So that's where I'm gonna be cutting this thing in half. Now I do also have a, a lower plane down here that we need to get to the center of. So I'm gonna do a line, and this time I'll start that line at the bottom center mark. And I'll just kind of draw it straight out here. I can always trim out what I don't need. I'm gonna extend it into the opposite direction. And um, I think I'm actually gonna extend it a little bit past here. So that looks good. I need to do the same on the other side. I could always just copy this line that I've already drawn, pick it up by that center point on this one, and then place it at the bottom center point down here. Just be, it's the same, it's the same dimension and everything. Um, so I like to trim things as I go to make sure that I'm only looking at what I need to be looking at. Once I start doing too many offsets or copies, it just gets kind of confusing. So I like to trim as I go. I'm gonna do the trim command and I'm just gonna trim out the stuff that I don't need just yet. I am gonna leave this one and I'll show you why in just a moment. But that's good. I've got the center here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out this piece on the top because that's that that line that we drew would not be there um, if there's a hole drilled through it so I'm gonna trim as I go I'm trying to be careful not to trim off things that I don't that I do need um, okay so this looks good I am going to draw a vertical line from here straight down. That's just representing that dip. So it's dipping down to this lower surface for that counter bore. And that same line, if I wanted to copy it from here to here, it's the same depth and everything, but I'm gonna take it from this endpoint here. So with that being said, I also need to, uh, since I'm getting rid of this top half, I can see a little more in. So this this smaller line, that that the 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 um, smaller diameter inside that counter bore, actually needs to extend out. Remember, this is to the center, but this line needs to extend out to it. So I'm going to use my extend command. I told you we were going to go back and forth between those commands. So this is good. Now I've, I've completely cut through here. It's, it dips down, it comes across, touches the circle on this side. There's the counter bore, it comes back up, and then we're back up on that top surface. So what I'd like to do is just trim. Again, I like to trim as I go. Trim this and this. And it's a little bit tricky here, but you wanna trim the, the bigger circle. And I actually don't have a line in there. Like once I've, once I've actually cut this in half, I don't have that line that's visible right there. And I would trim that. So this is good. I've got the beginning of my counter bore. I still need to finish it out to get the depth of that hole and everything, but that looks good. I'm gonna do it. You could take this and just copy it over into this view, but I'm gonna repeat all of that so that you can see it. 
So I'm going to draw a line straight down, and that is just the edge of the knife. When we're cutting this thing in half, it dips down like this. Now we've got that surface. We do need to copy this line from this point to that point. And again, this circle needs to touch my center line that I've drawn, so I'm going to use my extend command and extend that circle right there. Now I'm going to come through here and start trimming away. So trim. I'm going to trim everything on this half of the cutting plane line. And again, I do want to keep that circle. It needs to touch it, but the larger diameter, we're going to trim that out. I'll trim here and I'll trim here. So this looks good. Um, and actually, I don't even need this line anymore either. I can go ahead and really just erase that line, but oops, I do need that line. Hold on. Well, here I am needing to trim again. I undid too much, that's fine. Do to do, not copy, I need to trim. I got ahead of myself with my trim command over here. Here we go. And I don't need the one going smack through the center of this thing. So this looks good. What I would needed to do was just trim out <laughs> the middle part of it. I just kind of went crazy with my trim command there. Um, okay, so this looks good. I actually don't need the whole front half of this now, so I'll do the trim command again. And I can just get rid of these lines. I'll end up putting something in there, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of those. I'm going to, we haven't dealt with this top cylinder. We'll do that later. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase out everything else. I've trimmed what I can. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line that's going to go straight from this corner and I'm going to go straight down. Normally I would make this line a distance of one, but I did scale this view down half size, so I'm going to type in 0.5 for my distance because this isometric that I'm dealing with is half the size it normally would be. So now I can trim right here as well. Delete that out. And I'm going to take this line, that vertical line, and I'm just going to copy it to everywhere that I need it to go. So copy it. I do see this edge here, this edge here. I don't see the top part of that counterboard, just that inner circle. I'll copy it to this edge, copy it to this edge, and copy it right up there. So that looks good. Starting to come together. I'm gonna draw one line just to draw the whole bottom of this. Should work, endpoint to endpoint. Trim out these little pieces that I don't need here. There we go. And I'm actually going to trim out this section here. So I don't need those. Because that's a hole going through, I'm going to copy this inner arc, the smallest one. I'm going to copy it down here. And I will copy it to here. And then I'll trim. Oh, yes, that looks really, really good. So we still have to worry about um, the top half of this. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but we're gonna come in here and deal with the top half of this. So there's, again, we need to get a line straight through the center of this. So I'm gonna take a line and I'm gonna go out from the center point. Normally this is a radius of uh, a diameter of four, which would be a radius of two, but I did scale it down half size. So now it's a radius of one. So I'll draw a line, the length of one, and I can just extend that line in the opposite direction until I touch the edge there. Um, same goes for, oh, let's just go ahead and do this. So I'm going to draw a line connecting from here to here just so you can kind of see what's about to happen. There we go. I'm cutting this in half. Um, I do need to do the same going through the center of this circle, the bottom of my countersink. 
So I can do a couple of things. I can draw a line again or just copy. I've already got one. It's right at the right angle. I'll just copy it from here down to the center. And again, we're going to cut and or trim and all of that as we go. Now, when I'm drawing this, I do want to point out um, because this is a countersink, I'm going to go from where that center line touches the big circle and where the smaller center line touches the small circle. I'm just going to draw a line from those two points, so from those two intersections. Now this smaller circle, much like the smaller circles we had over there, it needs to extend a little bit to come out here. So I'm going to do the extend command. Just extend that circle out so that it touches. And now again, I will draw a line from this point to this point. It is a little bit kind of skewed there. It just looks a little strange, just the angle that we're viewing it. But we know that it's from the center here to where the center line would touch down here. So now that we've got those, I'm going to go ahead and trim. And I will take these lines out. I'm going to trim everything on this half. Even this, and I know it's kind of crazy. There's a lot disappearing here. I don't need these lines. I don't need this line going through the center of that circle. Don't need this line going through. There we go. Ooh. All right, this looks good. I'm almost done. Press enter. I'm going to go ahead and copy this line. I'm going to copy it to this point, to this point, and to this point. And what I'm going to do now is um, I can extend this line so that it touches. I'm going to do the extend command and I'm just going to extend these until they touch where they're supposed to. I'm going to extend these down. That looks good. I need to trim this out kind of like at the bottom here. It's a hole so there's no straight line there. I'll go ahead and trim this part. Press enter. And then we'll just copy this circle here to there. Trim out what I don't need. Ooh wee, that looks good. I am almost done. The only thing I have to do now is go in here and hatch. So we'll click into, leave it at that ANSI 31, and we'll just click here, 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 and here. And that is it. We have got an isometric that has two counter sinks and a counter bore. You did it. Now zoom out and that is it. We've got a perfectly finished project.